here's the video of the heart trailer that we have. A small dent right here. on the door in this dressing room I've noticed that um, there's some water it has to be from water there on the edges and then this corner right here is a little soft underneath that linoleum so you probably just need to take the floor up and Fix it up, clean it up, and then um, check the roof to make sure it's sealed tightly. The clothes rod, lights, it's got electric if you plug it in to an extension cord, air conditioner worked when we tried it and traded it. Two hat racks. Has a walk through door, which can go somewhere, and then I'm gonna go around so you can see better. Metac, two brush trays, carpeted Metac door, and your walkthrough door, rubber mats, and there's, I can't count, five saddle racks, oh my goodness, and then uh, four blanket bars, those posts are, those are both removable, Metac is fully carpeted, battery, bridle hooks, there's also a vent, here, but it does not look like the piece is there to uh, open it. This roof is insulated, and there's some marks here where I just think that roof needs resealed or needed resealed and hasn't. I haven't um, been up there in a bit. This trailer has uh, four drops on the head, load light, mangers. One big door and that goes from the front, you know, the horse compartment all the way to the back. And then two smaller doors. I think one of these doors was a little tight. That one's good. Nope, that might have been a different trailer. We have those grease caps. Fender looks good. The back. The load light here. I think that's a six foot hay rack on top. Nope, that's probably an eight. It probably says in the ad. I did the ad before I'm doing this video. So the rear doors, um, the top comes up, and then the bottom ramp comes down. There's a little bit of tweak, not tweak to this ramp, but it needs re-welded at the bottom. Um, and then the mat there, which isn't a big deal, but still there. And the mangers in this trailer. This four and then this fifth one doesn't have a spot. Um, the floor in this trailer, up here, it's in the second stall, second, third stall, it isn't even the first stall. The first stall's just very pitted. The second stall has some holes here, and here, and there. You can put dining plate over it, weld it. Or rivet it down whatever you prefer or you can do it um they were hauling it when they traded it but if it was mine i think i'd probably reinforce the floor just a little bit there's a hole there the walls there more pitting rubber mats on this Our first divider pads and everything went great pin for that divider there Screens on here too. 
I probably can't lift this all up one handed, but I think more of that um, pitting and hole and the holes were in the front than the back. I can put this last manger, last divider in so you can see. So there's four, and then this, is, I would say this is four. You could probably stick a pony right there if you wanted to, but I'd probably fit about four on there. That uh, fender must have had a blowout on the tear. The ladder. I haven't given this one an acid bath. It may do well and clean up really well. Um, I just had it. And then there are a couple kick marks on this side. Not something I remember right offhand. I believe they were newer tires. And maybe Road Range G. Don't have my cheaters. 16 inch tires. And I don't see it. And that one says 0414. Oh, 0414 so these are tires from 2014 I think that was that elite we have that had the new tires on it I'm assuming these are the same 2014s although that's a Carlisle so that one might be a little bit newer this one's a 16 so there's kind of a look there's some things that need worked on we can do them here in our shop or you can buy it as is and do it on your own.